What's poppin' YouTube? It is your girl Kyla back again with another freaking video. And today, y'all, y'all clicked on this video for a reason. So I'm just gonna give y'all the truth about off-campus living at Kennesaw State. Yeah. There are a few things that I do want to cover in this video because a lot of people ask me questions about it. How it's going living here? How long have I been living here? How was my experience living off campus at Kennesaw? And I kind of just wanted to express my feelings and things like that in this video. A lot of you guys are subscribed to my channel because y'all have seen my college videos like when I went to Augusta and when I went to Kennesaw State. There are a lot of things that I want to address in this video. Pricing, your options that you have. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. So I made as usual if y'all watch my previous videos in the past my two Kennesaw State videos that I'm gonna put down here the one about on-campus living I've already made two housing type videos but people still have questions y'all my Kennesaw State videos my college videos in general are one of the most popular topics on my channel so my first video that I made like things you need to know before coming to Kennesaw State y'all pretty much blew that video up so thank y'all for that but the videos aren't obviously just for the views they're to inform you guys because I genuinely wish that someone had videos like this for me when I came to Kennesaw because I had no idea what I was really getting myself into not that it's like a super bad thing or anything but it's just so much that I had to learn on my own and that I just ha it was just a lot y'all so yeah first things first y'all I recently graduated from Kennesaw State claps up to me and I still live off campus only for a few more months though if you are coming to Kennesaw State either as a freshman or upperclassman you pretty much have like a 70% chance that you're not gonna have on-campus housing and I'm not saying that like you could not get it because you still do have a chance it's it's pretty slim but if you hop on it early enough then you probably do have a chance of staying on campus and this whole video will be like null and void but I'm saying all this to say that Kennesaw State has over 40,000 students we don't have room for all those people on campus. We just don't. Majority of the people that go here either commute or they live off campus. Majority of my friends out here live off campus because there just genuinely is not enough space to house everybody, which is okay because they have like a billion options for off campus housing. So I'm gonna say this next part with a grain of salt. Well, not really. Um, If you are not hurting money wise, then you can skip like 30 seconds past this part but do not move off campus if you don't expect to pay a lot i'm gonna keep it real with y'all i love y'all and y'all clicked on this video for a reason you do not want me to sugarcoat it y'all want the facts so that's what i'm gonna give y'all point blank period if you move off campus at Kennesaw State University you are going to be paying at minimum of about eight hundred dollars that's probably the lowest that it's gonna get every year the prices of these apartments continuously go up when i first started living out here i was paying in the sevens now i'm paying in the nines and it's only been like two and a half years that just blows my mind it's crazy for me to think that inflation has done this but we went through covid you know people are trying to like rebuild and stuff so i guess i understand but like damn I still live with three other people, so is it really worth it? I don't know, y'all. I just, mm, mm, mm. and y'all, you have to sign a 12 month lease. So you're stuck paying that seven, eight, nine, almost a thousand dollars for a year, for a full year. There are ways to get out of your lease, but just keep that in mind. You are gonna have to sign a lease agreement for 12 months. Obviously, they're not half leases unless you take over someone else's lease, but they don't do six month three month or anything like that it's a year lease that you're signing and it's a legally binding contract saying that you're going to pay that money every month if you're not trying to pay that much i would seriously consider that before you come to kennesaw because a big expense my biggest expense was not even tuition it was literally just the housing of course it's the convenience of staying like near campus and everything but it was still the fact that I had to pay like all this money every month and it wasn't even my own apartment. But the good thing about all this is even if you don't have the option of living on campus, you have a million options as to where you can stay. I'm gonna name them for you guys. We have the Blake, the Retreat, U Club, U Point, Indy, Sova, Copper, Copper Social. And we also got a new one that just got here like last year or the year before last, it's called 1465. And they even have housing for the Marietta campus. So if you only have classes near the Marietta campus or you wanna stay closer to that side, then they do have an apartment complex called The Beacon. I've been to all of them. I've seen all of them with my own eyes so I can vouch for every single last one of them. Like they are quality apartments. Some are obviously better than others. And majority of them cost more than others. So it's, you know, you kind of do pay for what you get for, but they're all pretty expensive. I have friends out here that pay over a thousand and 
I'm just saying it's me personally I'm not paying over a thousand dollars to live in off-campus housing like that just doesn't it just it just doesn't sit right with me I'm sorry like I could go get my own place and get a roommate and we could be paying less than that all of the places that I just mentioned they are relatively close to Kennesaw's campus majority of them that I named are closer to the Kennesaw campus so you know it's pretty conveniently located pretty much what determines the price that you pay is one when you sign a lease and two, how many bedrooms? I have my own room, my own bathroom, but I share a common area downstairs, laundry room and kitchen. We share all of that. And you would think like, oh, okay, well, if you have your own room, your own bathroom, like, yeah, but we still have to share like all the stuff downstairs. If someone's doing their laundry, like I have to wait until they're done. Like sometimes they don't come get their laundry on time. And it's like, ugh. and then we all have to share a refrigerator and a freezer. So it's like, you would think that it's like, okay, but like, as I've gotten older and after I've graduated, yeah, I can't do this for much longer. Like it was cool while i was still in school because obviously like it was convenient but now that it's no longer convenient for me i'm like yeah i don't want to do this anymore some people stay out here after graduation and they normally go down to like a two or one bedroom they do have those options as well they are obviously more expensive i know there are only a few places that offer one bedrooms though so if you want one bedroom you kind of have to hop on those pretty quickly because they're pretty much always sold out like any time of the year so i really don't know how you get them honestly so one bedrooms i've seen they range from somewhere between like 11 and 12. two bedrooms are around a thousand eleven hundred depending on where you go most of the nicer places are towards like eleven hundred three and four bedrooms are the most common those are between like your eight and your nine fifty you definitely pay for what you get if you don't want to pay as much and you don't mind living with other people i personally 100 percent recommend having roommates i do like i said i wasn't going to pay over a thousand dollars for this so <laughs> I was gonna get what I got um, until I can move out in a few months but you're you're going to overpay simple that's it I know that may just be my opinion but I'm trying to tell y'all how I feel y'all click on this video to hear what I had to say so me personally I feel like paying almost thousand dollars and I'm still in school just for a place to stay is actually crazy because I know people who go to like Georgia Southern I think it's like UGA too they pay maybe between like three and five which I feel is so much more acceptable for some college students. Unless you're rich, you know, bravo. <laughs> bravo. But for the general population like me, who don't just have 12K sitting around every year and you have to take out loans, like that's a big expense. So uh, I don't know. Definitely weigh that into your options when you come here because it's no way around it. Unless you get on campus housing, like you're stuck basically or you have the commute so another thing that i want to address is the price that you sign on your lease may not be the price that you pay every month utilities used to be included in my rent they're not anymore they give us a cap every month but if you go over that then you have to pay it and if you don't then you're good but we most of the time go over it because it's four people living in an apartment like we're watching tv you know lights are on we're using electricity all the time most of the time i don't just pay the the nine something that i normally have every month on my lease there's always an additive of so and so dollars due to the fact that we went over our our cap the overage is split four ways or however many roommates you have so it is split evenly even if you are always conserving and you're always turning your light off if you have a roommate who is always leaving the light on y'all are going to pay the same amount and you don't have to worry about sharing a room sharing a bathroom anything like that my freshman year i had to share a room and it was like i never want to do this again i'm sorry i just i don't like having to like go in the bathroom and change or like not feeling comfortable in my own space like i don't like living in such close proximity to strangers I don't know that's just me like I don't, I don't I don't want that and they have like apps to kind of show you compatibility and stuff so it definitely helps but sometimes they do just like place people in like just to place them in because they need a place to stay like I said I graduated already and they still allow me to stay here even though I'm not a student anymore so that's another thing but obviously they're not going to kick me out because they want their money so of course I get to stay so i already addressed that you can pay more every month than just your lease agreed price but there are also ways that they can charge you even more on top of that a little thing that my apartment complex does that gets on my last nerves is sometimes i use different cards to pay for my rent like if people send me money or something or if i just want to use a different card to pay for my rent or if it doesn't come out of one account every month they will charge you a one-time twenty dollar fee just for using a debit card that isn't the one that you had on file. I kid you not y'all. Like, and I tell my parents about this and they're like, oh yeah, that's stuff that they do in the real world. I'm like, well, we're not in the real world yet. This is still college. Like, why are y'all treating us like we're actual adults living out on our own in these real apartments? And these are literally just off-campus housing. Like, you feel me? Like, they will charge you your one-time fees and of 
course they're gonna charge you those late fees y'all because they charge you by the day and i've had to pay late fees before but it was only for maybe like two or three days but it was like 15 dollars so definitely make sure you pay your rent on time and set up that auto pay y'all because they're gonna get you if you don't this is about what i pay a year and that's not including the overages for utilities either so it will, it, it's always more than that it's definitely it's well over eleven thousand. so had to keep it real with y'all. I had to tell y'all the truth. Another thing is, since this is a legally binding contract, it's a lease agreement, you may need a guarantor or a co-signer to go on the lease with you. A lot of these places do check your credit as well. A lot of people coming into college or that are still in college don't have established credit. So, of course, they're going to need someone's credit to look at. If you already have established credit and you are perfectly fine with it being just in your name, that's 100% fine too, but you do have to have some type of credit in order to just go on it by yourself. All these apartment complexes do allow pets. Of course, there's a pet fee because why wouldn't there be? If you want to bring your dog, like bring it up. Also, pretty much since this is your own apartment, you are going to be able to bring as many guests over that you like. Spend the night. There's no limit on guests or anything, so definitely don't have to worry about that. Of course, there's a penalty for breaking your lease before the agreement is up, but that's kind of how it is everywhere. So kind of you want to make sure that this is what you want to do for the next year. See y'all, that's what having a dog is like in your apartment. It's, I asked for no dogs in the questionnaire, but they still came in. <laughs> but yeah, definitely make sure that this is what you want to do because uh, you can find someone to take over your lease, but it's not always guaranteed that you can find somebody. So lastly in this video, I'm just going to give you guys my personal experience living off campus and what it's been like. I came to Kennesaw my junior year, my fall going into my junior year. So I've been here for going on three years. It's been two and a half now, but I did renew my lease twice. And when I tell you guys it is crazy, I, I just can't wrap my brain around the fact that when you renew your lease, the price goes up. If anything i feel like it should be the opposite but i can honestly say i really do like where i live i feel like it's in a safe area i have my own room have my own bathroom my room is pretty spacious i would have to say that i've decorated it really cute as y'all can see i have pretty good closet space you know your girl needs that you gotta have my closet space it's really nice i really don't have a whole bunch of complaints just the price honestly like it's a nice apartment and stuff it's fully furnished so you don't have to bring like your bed your dresser from home when i came here i knew that it was going to be expensive but i honestly didn't think that it would get to be this expensive thank god that i've had enough money to stay out here for my entire duration of being in school because i know a lot of people that were not so fortunate but yeah had to give y'all the truth if you want to find any of the off-campus options that i mentioned before you can go to this website called kennesawoffcampushousing.com and they will show you any available units that they have in the area also each of the ones that i mentioned has their own website go online schedule a tour and you can go see where your next residence may be so y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my scoop into what the truth is living off campus. I've been living off campus for years, so I feel like I'm qualified enough to tell you guys what it's really like. But those are the facts, y'all. Y'all can quote me if y'all want, but go on the websites and see how much that rent is. And I promise y'all, y'all gonna be in the comments like, oh my gosh, she was right. Cause I know y'all, I done tried to move around to find somewhere cheaper, there isn't one. If y'all wanna see my other Kennesaw State videos, I'll put the link in the description so you guys can see it. I have videos talking about financial aid, tuition, admission. It incorporates like things I said about housing, but a lot more stuff. So yeah, y'all, if y'all wanna see those videos, I definitely, I got y'all. But thank you guys for watching this video, especially if you watched it until <laughs> the end. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Peace.